pandemic left me single. Yeah. Oh, you got a, oh, congratulations. Oh, how many months are you? Seven. Oh, that's so beautiful. Look at that black love on Juneteenth. That's amazing. Yeah. It's hurting some people pain so to clap for you though. They like. <laughs> Oh, that's crazy. Pandemic left me single, you know, without a baby. Uh, <laughs> it's to the point now I miss cat calls. <laughs> Men don't cat call women anymore. You guys have gotten really scary. I don't appreciate it, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, remember back in the day, y'all used to be like, arr, arr, arr. y'all don't do that shit no more, y'all weak. And I blame the pandemic because the world got way more sensitive. So nowadays, a man walking up to a woman saying, hey, beautiful, can be borderline sexual harassment, <laughs> depending on the environment. I remember pre-pandemic, I walked past a group of guys, and one of them ran up to me. And he said, hey, Ma, can I get your number? And I said, no, <laughs> because I didn't know the pandemic was coming. I thought I still had more days outside to reject more men. <laughs> so I was quite arrogant in my response. I was like, no, you're trying to show up for your little friends. And he was like, yo, you're going to regret this. And two weeks into the pandemic, he was right. <laughs> I thought about that man for a whole year. I was like, oh, shit, what if he was a prophet? <laughs> what if I said no to Jesus? They said he was coming back. I'm single, so I hang out with other single women. I don't hang out with women in relationships at all. Because y'all don't give me compliments, and I need that. Because you get compliments from your man, so you're not going to give it to the single bitch in the crew. <laughs> I love that shit. Single bitches will boost you up. <laughs> I came here, right before I came here, one of my single girls was like, oh, bitch, you killing it in the summertime with your Steve Jobs turtleneck. <laughs> and I, I was like, ah! She's like, the niggas going to love it. I was like, oh, bitch, you think so? Yeah, bitch, you look hot and cold at the same time. I was like, thank you. Oh, you're so sweet. Like, <laughs> you sure you don't want to be together? Okay. I'm single, so my other single girlfriend, she hit me with this new proposition. She always coming up with a master plan. She hit me with this new one. She was like, hey, it's this new thing where you can manifest a man. <laughs> I was like, what? You don't believe in any? You with a man right there. Damn. Um, she said, all you have to do is write a list, and the man in your dreams will come into your life. It's that simple. Like, that simple. Anybody here feel like they're with the person of their dreams? All right, just, just notice these are all the liars in the room. And it's kind of fucked up when you came with somebody, you clap, and they just look straight dead. Like, they spirit left they body, like. <laughs> if she ain't had them two kids, I'd be out of here. You know what I mean? Like, that type of energy. <laughs> Only reason I ain't fucking with my side bitches because it's Father's Day. I'm going to see her tomorrow. <laughs> be like that. She said it's that easy. But I think it's some bullshit, right? But I'm also at the point in my life where I have nothing to lose. So I was like, what do we have to do? She said, first you have to write a list of what you want in a man. I was like, ooh, this is the most exciting part. That's easy. <laughs> I want a man that's tall, dark, handsome, with muscles and a good hairline. And she was like, ooh, bitch, you in your 30s, that's asking for a lot. <laughs> she said, you had me till you said muscles and a good hairline. She was like, who are you looking for? <laughs> I was like, I thought your list was magical. She was like, mm, it don't work like that. I was like, what do we have to do next? She said, next you have to write a list of what you need in a man. I thought about it real hard. I was like, I need a man that's loving, caring, supportive, financially stable, and a family man. And she was like, ooh, that's a great list. She said, but you know this man don't look like that man. <laughs> the man you need don't look like the man you want, ladies. So I was like, your list is stupid. Why would you write two lists? That's dumb. Why would you, why are you playing division? I don't like division. So I ripped it up. I wrote one long list. And like magic, I ended up seeing this guy. He was everything that I wanted, but he was in a distance, so he didn't see me. 
So I'm just like, <laughs> hey. <laughs> he didn't look my way. So I was like, yo, I gotta shoot my shot. Um, I'm afraid to approach men. Don't like going up to men. I will never do it. It's just something in my spirit. Just be like, no, bitch, what? What happened? <laughs> my biggest fear is I go to a guy like, hey, and he like, hey, bitch. And I be like, oh, shit, what? What happened? <laughs> so I don't go up to men. And um, it's partly because of when I was younger. Because when I was 13 years old, I was madly in love with this guy. And I did everything to get his attention. But he didn't love me the way I loved him. So as an adult, I went to therapy to process that rejection. And, and the reason why he didn't love me the way I loved him is because he was my cousin. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. I'm from Florida. It's OK. My therapist said, whenever you tell this story, say you from Florida. It's OK. Sometimes your first love is your cousin. You know what I mean? Where are my Florida people at? Hey, we in here, you know what I mean? <laughs> but I got my fear of rejection. I went up to this guy and I said, hey. He said, hey. I was like, are you single? He said, yes. I was like, okay, this is going good. I was like, so what do you do? He said, I'm a personal trainer. And I was like, ooh, broke, 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 broke. <laughs> that is not the man I belong with, you know what I mean? <laughs> Because I can't date a personal trainer. Um, anybody here ever went to like personal training? They do a lot of meal prepping. That's where you take boiled chicken, a chicken breast, you drop it in hot water until it's fully cooked, no seasoning. You cut that up, you eat that every day. And I feel like I deserve a better lifestyle than that. <laughs> so my girlfriend says, see, I told you go back to the list. And I thought about all the men that I know in relationships, like these two over here dressed alike. How long have you two been together? It's a long time when you gotta look at each other. <laughs> you gotta read her eyes, like. Over a year. Over a, that's it? Y'all did all that for a year? <laughs> well, when, she said during COVID, okay, them shirts say a 20 year relationship tops. <laughs> Minimum. <laughs> How long you two been together, little Oakland? Almost a year. Oh, it's a lot of new couples, a lot of little pandemic couples. You two married, how long you two been together? Five years. Five years, okay. Married five years? One year. One year, okay, boom. And she let you talk? That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. She let you answer, because five years, nigga, you better not say shit. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I want that now. I want to be in a relationship with a loving, caring, supportive, financially stable man that takes me out to comedy shows and shit. <laughs> and I realized in order for me to have that, my lifestyle requires a man with body fat. <laughs> so now I look at life different. Every time I see a man with a little stomach, I'm like, oh, bitch, he got a good job. <laughs> I get turned on by dad bods now. Because every time I see a dad bod, I know he eat, I eat, we eat. <laughs> she said, that's funny. You wasn't fucking with shit else, just that. Okay. Glad I got your approval. 